Hey everybody, how's it going? Back with Fathers 13, and today we're gonna try and take on the Shaolongui and show you a farming method to get your Dark Matters. Fortunately, you only need five of them, but... Are we seriously got an item right away? Alright, chance of gold nugget! Nah, of course not. Anyway, as I was trying to say before I rudely got interrupted by an item, um, I'm going to try and take on the Shell Longui to farm uh, Dark Matters. You're going to need five of them, thankfully. Uh, for the Treasure Hunter achievement, uh, you need more if you want to make uh, more Kaiser Knuckles and stuff. Um, we're going to activate this hunt right here. Uh, there's a re reason for this madness. Uh, I'll get to that right at the end of the video, because at this point, I'm just going to show you the route I take to fight these dudes. Well, actually, hold on. Let me just, um, let me just do, let me just go to, uh, let me just show you why I, uh, do that. So, normally on the, on the way, uh, you, like, fight this dude. This is a Shao Longui. Oh, I should probably mention that, um, Longuis and Shao Longuis only spawn once you, um, Defeated every hunt in this ring of hell, and then they spawn. Uh, five star or no, by the way, doesn't matter. As long as you defeat it at least one time. So uh, you'd fight that Shaolongui, the Shaolongui up here. I'm just gonna skip them and, and pretend I beat them already, because I just want to show you the reason for my madness. I'm gonna try and make this as short as possible. Uh, so you'd fight him and fight him. Uh, this. Nah, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, so this guy right here is a long wee, right? We're going to uh, try and slip past him. Am I too thick? Nah, I'm fine. Alright, and then these dudes right here are shell long wees as well. So now, so I'm going to probably do like one or two fights. And uh, just show you the strat I use. So here we go. Let me probably show you my equipment and stuff. So equipment wise, I shouldn't have to tell you to have as much strength as possible for everybody. But uh, what's important is Fang has my item scavengers. Ideally you'd want Connoisseur uh, catalog, which is the upgraded version because um, uh, they increase the rare drops, doesn't it? Uh, these just up uh, increase the odds of uh, common drops, I believe. I could be wrong about that. Uh, resist Earth, of course, and um, auto central defense. You actually want this in all three of your characters because uh, all three of my characters. Do I not? Did I not put that on? <laughs> uh, apparently not. Okay, that's okay. I ha I uh, it's a good thing I checked. Uh, oh, tiara. Oh no, not tiara. I want the crown. Big, big whoops on my part. Big whoops. Wait. Wait. I put the crown on. Fuck me! <laughs> I thought it looked a bit weird. Yeah, auto attention defense. There we go. God damn it. Um, so yeah, as much strength as possible. Um, resist earth. Uh, Genji gloves for these two, because they, they're doing the max amount of damage. And uh, I'll should touch your defense on everybody because um, everybody's going to have pr Protect and Shell and Light's AI uh, while uh, we're in Protect and Shell. She, the, her AI, once Imperial is connected on on the Long Wii, her AI is going to skip over Protect and Shell and straight into Empire because we already have it on. But this... Uh, everything has to go with, well within the fir first 30 seconds, otherwise 30, uh, the bus will wear off in 30 seconds, so... Yeah, and, uh, what the fuck, dude? My, um, my controller decided to stop working, okay. Okay, let's, uh, paradigms. Don't forget the paradigms, Adam, you idiot. Uh, so, this is for when he's 900% uh, staggered and go for the kill. Uh, we're gonna go triple turtle here if we have to fight, um, basically protect ourselves from a quake at the very start. 
and protect ourselves from ultimate or bay if it ever happens. Uh, if bay happens, you probably auto lose the fight, so you might as well just retry. Otherwise, we can start with this and try and apply slow immediately, because we want to make it as slow as possible. Um, and then we're going to go to this after the triple sentinel. sentinel. Actually, no, we're going to go to this and put Imperial on. Once the Imperial on, was good, we're going to go to this to get in fire. And then we're going to go back to this go for the stagger and the 900%. Um, and then we're going to try and date uh, time our dazes with their attack so we can kill them in one stagger without dying. It's a lot to take, but hopefully I can give you a good example. So, we're going to slow. Um, I don't have first strike, so we're just going to uh, go to turtle here. Slow did not happen, unfortunately, so we got to time us slow again. And uh, usually, if I don't get slow within that turn, I uh, pr pr pretty much auto uh, reset prime. And now I need the Imperial to land. And then during this time, we're going to actually brave. Unfortunately, Light's, um, Light's buffs wore off. I saw that. Light's buffs wore off, so she doesn't get Empire, so it's going to slow us down big time. So now i got to time my dazes. attacking us pretty much. So basically that was a perfect fight. Minus uh, Light losing her buffs early because uh, the slow didn't connect. And we got a gold nugget. We didn't get the dark matter drop but that's okay. Uh, so we fought one. Let's try and fight another one for a dark matter drop. I would love to get one on camera. So let's try again. So if that went too fast for you, we'll try and uh, show you again. Uh, slow. I'm going to uh, cancel it there and use Eternals to take the least damage try possible. I'm going to go to Smart Bomb. Then we're going to try and get Slow on. Slow happens so we can instant uh, cancel into Imperil. Hopefully Imperil lands. Don't go. And now during this time, we're going to cast a uh, Brave Run no. on them too. And I'm going to wait for uh, Light to cast a Fire on herself, which she did that time. She did that time. She literally just had enough time. So now I'm going to Detect. And now he's staggered. And now during this time, I got to time my Dazes. And uh, yeah, if you see, if you see that, if you see that, uh, unfortunately, uh, you're probably dead. Let's see if I can uh, make this work though. Uh... Unfortunately, I lost a dick ton of time there. I lost a dick ton of time. Yeah, I think I just lost at that point. Because I got to re-stagger him, stuff like that. So that that was just an instant loss, unfortunately. I could have tried to um, remedy that, but if you see Bane and lands, you pretty much probably lose, unfortunately. It was definitely good. And the uh, days can hit the entire party as well, so... Oh, uh, fuck. I'm just... Now I'm just all controller tired from the day. Uh, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing, so I gotta reset the fight again. Because uh, everything does have to go well 
to for the strat to work. It's actually very specific. Like if the slow doesn't happen within this next uh, uh, shift, like if, if I don't get the slow now, I'm gonna reset because then like it's not gonna get the um, in fire. Now, now I'm just being way too slow. Okay, yeah, see that? I, I, I'm way too slow. Way too slow. I can still, I can still um, do it without light having him fire. Still weird. The tricky part about this is uh, timing your days is with their attack. Sometimes days don't even work. That's another annoying thing. Don't get predictable. And sometimes you may not even get the kill during the one stagger if you're uh, too careless or whatever. Yeah, we lost again, dude. Ah, oh, this is so this is so bad. This is how bad the fights can go if you're too slow and stuff. It's really annoying. It is consistent when it works, but it's not consistent. I wish there was a uh, consistent way of doing this, dude. I'm right here. Wow, that actually worked. I'm surprised. <laughs> Not dilly dally here. Don't back down. Thanks. Break myself again. Uh, she did not go far herself. That's okay. It should happen. It's just a little bit. Yeah, they, they look, the, the annoying thing about this strat is you have to uh, time your days as with their attacks. And, uh, if he gets a bay off, there's nothing you can do about it. And there's Ultima. We have to turtle that, otherwise we auto lose. Only just beaten by it before the stagger went, ran out, but... And we got Dark Meta on screen. Okay, it was worth it. It was worth it, dude. We got the Dark Meta. So, just keep doing that over and over. And let me just show you real quick why we activate the uh, Mission 54. Because if we go up here, up to the star, to where he spawns... Um, the Hun is a cutscene, so what, what happens is, you activate the fight, and instead of going all the way back to, um, like, the Northern High Plains to uh, respawn the other one, then run back and forth, it's such a long walk. You literally just jump up here, activate the cutscene, and you you appear on this side, you always appear from this side, uh, to fight him. And then you go, b and uh, these guys automatically respawn. So this is probably this is the best way to farm the Shaolongwees. Maybe not the strat itself, because as you saw, the strat itself is uh, semi inconsistent. Because you have to be fast, you have to be really good at it. Uh, it may take some practice, but you can get your uh, five dark bears or more, depending on if you want to get uh, tons of Kai's knuckles. Uh, but you only need five for the Treasure Hunter achievement, so thanks for watching everybody, I'll catch you all in the next one.